Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 My Rise Vidya. And yeah, as you can see, I'm still checking out uh, the story progress here. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can trigger uh, some more stories. And my dude must have been eating some some pies and stuff because he got a little something, something in his in, in, in his goatee but anyway uh let's see okay no stories on the social feed how about the dms uh let's see so she wants me to switch brands and we're not ready to do that uh he wants me to turn heel mr grant wants me to change brands uh let's see always looking for new and exciting matchups on smackdown so i was thinking about putting you up against Rey mysterio not sure how much longer he'll be around so, want to do this sooner than later. Is Ray too big of a deal? Wait, is Ray too big of a deal to ask me himself? Uh, it's not like that. And I am the GM. It's kind of my job to make matches. So anyway, will you face Ray or no? And yes, we won't accept the match. Taking on another legend sounds good to me. I don't think it will be that easy, but I'm excited to see you try. Three Amigos. Okay. Okay. I heard. I heard some things about this story. And I actually think um, I've seen a piece of the story play out. I don't know exactly quite how it finishes. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. And yes, yes, y'all, for continuity's sake, I am wearing my official king attire. And yes, that crown is Triple H's crown. We are paying homage to uh, my man Triple H, who just recently retired from in-ring action due to his, uh, what do you call it, his cardiac episode. So yeah, man, I just want to say uh, to Triple H, man, if he, should he or someone close to him be watching, man, I appreciate all the wonderful memories. I appreciate his contributions to the business. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. And yes, the cape is from The Undertaker. You know what I mean? It's the Ministry of Darkness Undertaker. Lord of Darkness Taker. Let's go ahead. Get the show on the road. Oh, hell. Freaking Ray. Nope. Not happening, my guy. You can eat that mat, though. Keep getting up. I'm going to keep knocking you down. Oh, Ray Ray. Think you're the only hot flyer in this ring? Hmm. Ah. Oh, shit. Uh. I think it might be too close. Yep. Freaking too damn short. Took my damn clothesline. Either that or he's too damn good. Really, Ray? You already did this move. Damn it. Nope. Get your hands off of me. All right, Ray. All right. I don't want to do this to you, but you didn't even know the choice. Did you want to be all handsy with me? I thought we was peoples, Ray. Huh? I thought we was familiar. You want to act like you're too good to take some of these moves. And therefore, I got to ground you. Come on, Ray. Get up. Get your ass on up. And 
Crap. Bruh. We're gonna keep you grounded, like I said. We're going after the legs. Shot after shot. And we got enough for a SIG. Now, let's see if uh Mr. 619 is um you know gonna play nice, gonna play ball here. And uh I guess we don't have a SIG. So we're gonna have to um go ahead and kinda end this right here with a fin. Oh, he too good to take a fin. He too good to kick take a fin. No. Oh. Oh, you gonna make me use a stock. Now I'm pissed. I am pissed. Let's go. You don't work my last good nerve, Ray. A little bit of a uh, noggin rocking action right there. Now get your punk ass up, Ray. You gonna eat a sig. You gonna eat the feet. And you gonna eat a finisher. Cause we is feeling edgy. It is done. It is done, my stunned son. Let's go. So I thought I'd get more of a more of a fight out of the legend Ray Mysterio. It's clear he stuck around too long just to make sure his talentless son has a job in WWE. At least Eddie doesn't have to see this. Yo, yo, come on, man. I'm a fan of Eddie Guerrero. How you gonna do me like that in the game? Bruh. You better shut your mouth and never mention Eddie's name again. Hey, hey, I love Eddie Guerrero, okay? I wish he was still here to this day. Uh, I'll do a lot more than that. Is it next week SmackDown near WWE archives? Might, might be a good idea to check out some Eddie memorabilia before the show. Bruh! Bruh, we cannot be disrespecting Eddie like that. We are a fan of Eddie, not the other way. Bruh, this ain't the way, my guy. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this game is cold-blooded as hell, man. They're trying to make me look like I'm, I'm anti-Eddie up in this piece, man. What the hell? Well, I already have the lowrider entrance. I mean, I have my own lowrider and everything. But, yo, we doing Eddie's entrance? Come on now. What are you talking about? This is my entrance. Only difference is the music and the Titan Tron is not mine. Bruh. I feel disrespected and this is my character. Look at the fans are booing me and everything. I mean, I'm not even a heel. I'm pressing Y and of course the Y button ignores my command. So now I'm being beat up by Kurt Angle Jr. over here. And I can't counter for the life of me because it won't allow me to. Bruh, You're making me look like a freaking chump. Get off of me. All right, you shit. Get your ass in there. Does Kurt Angle know you're wearing one of his singlets? Woo! Kind of a weird way to sell a spear, but anyway. We is going to fly like a Z Eagle. The punk ass. And we is taking him over the edge. The outlaw's edge. Let's go. And we stunned him again. Here 
here is your winner, the outlaw, Jason J. V. Damn, skip it. You crossed the line, JV. What? The lowrider? Um, that is my lowrider, by the way. <clears throat> that was my tribute to Eddie. He'd definitely be more proud of that than what your career has become. You need to return Eddie's car now. Um, it's not Eddie's car. It's my car, damn it. Uh, or we're going to have a major problem. Uh, really? Really? Okay, my guy. You gonna do me like that? Okay. All right. Nah, I think I'm going to keep it, and if you don't like that, then meet me in the parking lot and try to take it. I mean, if, if, if my guy is, is is as smart as I is, then uh, that would actually be Eddie's car and not my car. Like, hopefully he has um, our car stored somewhere nearby. Because I have a feeling Ray is going to take this car from us. <laughs> Oh, really? A cheap shot from behind, huh? And I, and I thought I was supposed to be the heel. Even though, technically, I'm not a heel. I'm a baby face. Damage Ray with attacks. So that means he's going to win. Well, he's not getting his victory easily. I'm going to cut a promo on your ass while I wait. Hurry up, Ray. That's what I thought. Um, I thought RB was to pick him up over your, over your shoulders. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. I don't know why it wasn't working. Through the table. Come on, Ray. Want to threaten me and shit? Whoops. It was so, so off the mark with that one. Come on, Ray. Stop being a stubborn little asshole. And eat that wood. There we go. <laughs> Ring right near the low rider car in the parking lot. Wait, where, where, where's the car at? Is the car over here somewhere? Oh, yeah, it's over here. Ooh, stop sign. I sound like James Wood and Family Guy, don't I? Ooh, pizza candy. Ooh, pizza candy. Oh! He had to be dramatic with the stop sign swing. Like, what the hell, my guy? Okay, so there's Eddie's car. So bring it the fight near the car. All right. Get over there. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Mysterio ducks in right into the low rider. Battle hurt. Ray setting up for something. Okay, see that, that, that that's not my car, that's Eddie's car, because my car has the white walls on it. Uh, what's going on? <gasps> Eddie! Oh my god, it's Eddie! Ijole! I'm fighting Eddie! I'm sorry, Eddie. It ain't personal. I'm a huge fan. Good night. What a stunner. I can't believe I'm beating up Eddie Guerrero. I don't like this. I'm just doing what the objective tells me. Ooh. Fight to the back of the ambulance. So I gotta take him to the ambulance. I don't like this. I'm fighting one of my favorites. Ow! And I think he busted my brain.
Uh oh. Uh oh. What's that he gonna do? <laughs> Eddie, no! Frogs flash off of the ambulance! That's fine. That's not mine anyway. <laughs> I got mine stashed. So I'm good. <laughs> not exactly sure what happened at SmackDown. I'll tell you what happened. I taught you a lesson in respect and honor. And it felt like Eddie was with me the entire time. Helping to take you down. I felt his presence too. Now I need to prove to you, Eddie, and everyone else. That I can still go in the ring. I am not... Here collecting a paycheck. I am not just here collecting a paycheck. So let's do this one more time. Two out of three falls. I know I've said and done a lot of things, but I don't know if I'm 100% right now to compete. If you're the star you claim to be, you'll accept my challenge. If not, you're just everything you said I was. Fine. Two out of three falls. I'll do it. Come on, Ray. Leave me stranded, will you? Uh-uh. Get up, Ray. I don't think I trust you. Get up, Ray. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. What the hell? Is he too good to take that clothesline? Scorpion death drop. He's got the target across. Oh, so that was a scorpion death drop. Oh, I think we busted him open. Stunner! Oh! Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. He's gotta know he's in one way here. Alright, we're gonna fly. We're gonna fly. Get up, Ray. Oh. Nope. Not today, Ray. Not today. Get your punk ass up. Now. Where was we? Huh? Rock bottom. Woo! One more fall and we can call it good. Miss! You dumb Rudy Poo and we busted him open too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try this. How you like that for a springboard, huh? 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 So I got some springboard action too. Let's go. Let's go, Ray. Oh, you lightweight. Alright. Let's go. 
We both going to fly here. All right. I hope you was feeling as edgy as I am, Ray. Let's go. Booyah. Or should I say Booyaka? Here is your winner, the outlaw, Jason J. V. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won. So the three amigos is Finito. Do we have time for another one? I know you and I have mostly been doing our own thing on SmackDown, but I think it's time for that to change. I'm listening. Why is that? Because we have a special bond from training together at the PC. Even though we weren't always on the same page, that bond is still there. It means something. Man, you as delusional as all hell. Just tell me what you want. What I want is the Intercontinental Championship. And I want you to help me get it. I already have my own buddy Nakamura here, and there's power in numbers. If you'll join us. Help Paragon go after Big E's title. Reject offer from... Reject offer to team up with against Big E. Put off decision. You know what? I kind of owe Big E one. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I was forced to go after him. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I did a number on him. So at least I can do is make it up to him by teaming up with my man. So let me go ahead and go with this choice. So basically, you already lost and now can't get a rematch. So you need me to beat him for you and then give you a title shot. I wouldn't use those words exactly. But that's the gist of it. I'm not going to do your dirty work. In fact, I'm going to do what you couldn't do, and I'll do it all by myself. So you can take your special bond and shove it. Ooh. You're really going to regret saying that. Power in numbers. See, hey, Big E, don't have anything to do this week. Want to fight me for your IC championship? Uh, would absolutely relish the opportunity, but Apollo is looking for a shot too. If only there was some way we could settle this, JV. I know, you and me one-on-one, -on -one, winner faces Big E. 100. Brilliant, and good luck boys, I'll be watching. Me too, says Paragon. Bruh, so we can possibly be walking away with the IC strap. Let's go. Oh crap. Paragon just made the absolute biggest, most dumbest decision of his life. I want to give you a chance to settle things with Paragon after what he did to you. <clears throat> Whatever it is, I don't want to wait. I want him and Nakamura in a match. Okay, but... Damn, yawn. Anyway. Okay, but not sending you out there alone... You can either team with Apollo Crews or Big E. It's your call. I want to team with Big E. Give me Big E. He had issues with these guys too. So I know he'll be ready to take them on. Alright, I'll let him know. And be careful out there. You won't be 100%. Great. Right. Come on you j Brown. Oh, oh, it's like that. Oh, you, uh-uh. Oh. Oh, come on. All right, no, come on, come on. That did not hurt. All right, you bitch. All right, now. I'm, I'm looking to take your ass the hell out. 
shot after shot. Now what, huh? Now what? Huh? 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 Come on, you jabron. Let's go. Oh, you mother. No. Come on, dude. Come on. Get up. Get your hands off me. All right, Hansy, get your ass up. Go after my arms, huh? Go after my arms, huh? I'm going to go after yours now. Huh? Huh? What now, you bitch? Huh? Huh? Oh, you mother... Nope. 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 You don't have as much spring to your step as I do. Okay? You weak, saucy looking ass. Get it, your punk ass. The hell up. I said, get up. You ain't going for no hot tags. Just get your bitch ass up. Punk. Rock bottom for that ass. And you get your bitch ass off the apron. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. How you like me now? Here are your winners. The outlaw. Jason. That's right, Big E. Let's go. Let's go. So, Scrap Daddy, who in the heck am I going to face next? I still like a shot at you, Big E. Don't forget about me. Neither of you are worthy of that title. It would make more sense for someone who's actually wrestled all over the world to be Intercontinental Champion. <clears throat> it would, but I've already beaten you. Next, please. <laughs> oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. let's go. I wrestled all over the world. Stay out of this, Shinsuke. Ooh, Big E got the popcorn out. I uh, think this is where I step in and make a match. Seems like the best solution is you all get a shot, so it'll be a five-way match for the Intercontinental Championship. I hope it's elimination. Win by pinfall or submission. So this is going to be a toughie. Or maybe not. <laughs> Shinsuke tried to kick me off too and he couldn't. There we go. New IC champ. Let's go. <laughs> Bruh. North American champion. NXT champion. US champion. 24-7 champion. WWE Champion and now IC Champ. Let's go. Man, call me the belt collector. <laughs> I'm going after them all. Except for the women's titles. You know what I mean? Because that ain't my division. So you managed to win the five-way match. Way to go. Hey, I did a lot better than you. <laughs> Let's not bury the lead. I'm Intercontinental Champion and I didn't need anyone's help to do it. Funny how that turned out. Facts! <laughs> when I approached you about working with us, you said you wanted to prove you're better than me. But I don't think you've done that yet. I think the fact my carry-on is now 15 pounds heavier might prove otherwise. Mm -hmm. Let me repeat. You won a five-way match. You didn't beat me one-on-one. -on -one. And until you've done that, you haven't proven anything. Uh, correction. Even though it was technically, yes, a five-way match, I did fight you directly one-on-one, -on -one, and I made your ass tap. 
So, uh, yeah. Stick that in your pipe and choke on it. I'm just saying. Okay, you want a one-on-one -on -one -on -one match? Fine. Fine. Let's do it. Let's do it. You can even have you can your, your boy Nakamura, Nakamura out there, too. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'll, still I'll still win. Facts. I've been better than you since day one at the PC. Now, the entire WWE Universe will find out what we already know. Oh, I can't wait to make you tap again. That's what it's all about, baby. Introducing the challenger from Arlington, Virginia. Weighing in at 235 pounds, Paragon J. Pierce. And introducing the champion from San Jose, California, weighing in at 267 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Outlaw, Jason J. You could have put my custom side plates on that belt. Come on now. That's disappointing. Spear right out the gate. Come on, my guy. Now, foot to the face. You get that foot to mouth syndrome. <laughs> uh, let's go. Right in the mouse. I will stand you up, but I don't trust you, so you're getting up on your own. Yeah, heads already at red health. No, that's not what I was trying to do. Over and bam again. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna get a fat lip by the time I'm done with you. Hold that. Thank you. Do <laughs> ass up. Still got that foot to mouth syndrome. And now your ass is finna hit rock bottom. Oh yeah. Right. The champ is here. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one sided as it Power in numbers story is complete, and I think this would be a good stopping point because we don't hit two major storylines. So yeah. I think we'll go ahead and we'll call the video here. I <clears throat> really appreciate you guys coming through, hanging out, watching my videos as you guys always do. Uh, very much appreciate it. Don't forget to, of course, like, comment, and, of course, subscribe for some more WWE 2K22 uh, My Rise action. And, uh, yeah, we are going to wrap up the Rey Mysterio Showcase. Um, some of you are probably wondering about that. Yeah, we will be wrapping that up. Um, I'm contemplating if I still want to, uh, if I want to do two videos, if I, or if I want to do one video, because I think with the Rey Mysterio Showcase, we only have about five matches left. 
in the showcase, I think. Although, I um, I think there is a bonus match between him and Dominic Mysterio. So, technically, it might be six matches. So, I don't know. We'll see how, how it all plays out. But until then, <clears throat> uh, make sure y'all go uh, hit up the links while you're at it, too, uh, in the video description down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah, till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right? Peace.